What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are out messing around with my buddy Ryan Latinville. You might have seen him in the previous video. We caught a few large mouth, a few small mouth, had a good time. Today we're going to mix it up as well. I'm going to show you a few things to know about some small mouth out deep, but we're also going to flip, try to catch a few large mouth. We're going to mix it up. Uh, but I told you a little bit about that Ron and I have known each other for a while now. And so it goes way back, buddy. Go back to sleeping on floors. Oh, freaking no joke. Cuddled up next to a fan and one blanket. Come on. All right, now, don't tell, don't say that. That no, no, one blanket. Yeah, I can share the blanket. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. So to tell you a little history of Ron and I, uh, Ryan and, and I qualified for the same All American back in 2011. Yep. Um, and so I was, I was, at that point in time, I was 20. Yeah, you were 19. 19. And so I thought I was the youngest guy fishing fishing all America. I'm like, yeah, the youngest guy fishing all America. And this summer gun was 19 years old who qualified for all America. So we became buddies then. Um, went on to win the tournament. Ron had a solid event. And uh, so that year, I was I came up to Champlain to fish a co angler, literally to go up here and fish a co angler at the coast as a co angler. My bad. And I stayed at Ryan's house and we fished for like two weeks after that. Literally running around everywhere, uh, getting up first thing in the morning, and and I slept on the floor in his bedroom till like for two weeks, two weeks straight. He drove up here with a truck that has 3.8 million miles on it, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> maybe a tent. <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. We've had a lot of great times. So. This is sort of a reminiscing trip to come up here and mess around. I don't get it very often to come up to Champlain and get to spend time with him. So it was sort of, I was up in New York, said, hey, look, man, I'm, I'm sliding by. He said, let's go, let's go. Weather's going to be good. It has been raining, raining, so it hasn't been that easy to, to film constantly. Um, so normally we would do the vlog starting at the truck, starting everything. So we're starting out here on the water, running around, and we're going to show you a few things. Hopefully I will show you how to catch a few bass, and maybe this guy might catch a few as well. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you all what I'm throwing. Throwing a little half ounce grass jig, black chartreuse, green pumpkin chartreuse. Just throwing a polymer on there with 40 pound suffix 832. A small one, a little chartreuse, never hurt anybody. Grab him. Then I got you can base crack and crawl. Always good. Cut the first. There's basically four appendages. One, two, three little like segments. So I'll cut two of them off. Just keep it compact. Rig him up. And then there you go. Bam. You got a fish catcher. Some kind. Pike, fish, whatever. Ready to roll. Oh. Let's see if you can get a bite. Ted, another thing you gotta do is when you're pitching out there in grass, you wanna go with a lot, you wanna slack on it. So what I mean by that is you wanna give it, ooh hoo. That grass felt good. So you don't like, so like whenever I'm flipping grass, I just wanna make sure I flip out there. I don't wanna flip too far away and I'll give it a lot of slack so it falls on. You said that low light, it's just harder to see. It's harder to see that grass. But it's there, see out there. Pike. Pike. Oh! That pike messed me up. Brian took me to the pike hole. Straight pike hole. Literally got nothing but pike. Literally, that's all that's living. Oh. It's actually fenced in area and loaded with pipe. <laughs> the pipe cannot leave this fish. <laughs> All right, completely different day out here now. Sun's come out, beautiful. But yet, we have not caught them at all yet. But that doesn't mean we're not going to find them. 
Don't, don't, don't give up. Are you sure you're Jacob Wheeler, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Hey, trust me. There's plenty of times I don't catch them. Plenty, plenty. of times you want to ask Jacob Wheeler where to catch them. <laughs> We're going to have some fun. We're going to keep on moving. We're going to keep looking, keep searching. Big. Yep. No. No? Not a big one, but a good one. Oh. I don't know. Chunk. Ooh. That's a good one, dude. It's a chunker, man. Yeah. Looks like a damn bluegill. Chunky monster, buddy. Uh, looks like a bluegill. <laughs> he been eating his Wheaties. <laughs> that sucker's been eating his Wheaties. Yep. Guaranteed. That's a three pounder. Oh, that's like a 340. You watch. 350. Yep. <laughs> Might as well. It has buddies. And there's always two and three quarters in here. Huh? There's always a whole bunch of two and three quarters in here. Oh, Big in here. This is Canada? Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna eat inside. That's a good one though. Chicken three. <laughs> Put his ass in the freaking live well. Gosh, Rod, Rod, you always catching all the dang bass. What the heck, buddy boy? Let me see that sucker. I'm gonna make it famous. I say yo, yo, yo. Freddy the dang bass, largemouth. My name is Jacob Wheeler. <laughs> I'm showing my friend Ryan Lanville how to catch a bass. You're all right up. You're all right next. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Yeah. One drop shot fish. Bite. Yeah. I don't even know how he knows so much junk. It's not like he's a hundred. Got me one. There we go. Yeah, buddy, right on that point. Right there, I'm hoping. He doinked, I'll give him that. Is not playing any games. See if we can get multiple bites, that's the biggest thing. It's pretty windy right now, and we're gonna go mess around these smallmouth a little bit, see if we can't catch a couple of them, mix it up a little bit. Do have a couple of nice large mouths, but uh, we've been working our butt off for them, that's for sure. What's up? Brownie. Brownie. Hopefully, some big ones. What about the same size? Not the size we need out here on Champlain. Uh, okay. Not. Huh? Yeah. Not a bad one. Oh. It's not a bad one, right, right? Heck no. Let me see this like this. Two sixty. Yeah, two sixty. A lot of perch. That's the thing. That's the name of the game out here. Perch, bait. Our lives equals normally big. And that is not a big one. Oof. Yeah. Not what we want. Itty bitty. One about it? Oh, he freaking annihilated it. It was like whoop. Whoop whoop. I'm in here, man. Come here. Not a bad one. 
three and a quarter, three forty, probably three thirty. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got on the old raffle scale. Let's see what we got. Oh, Ryan's got him one too. Biggin? Oh, he's got some weight to him now. Oh gosh! <laughs> Ryan's got him one too. I'm sitting here. Oh gosh, it's a big. Oh my gosh, they're loaded on it. I gotta give it some drag. 320. 326. Oh my gosh, Ryan, that's freaking big and money. Holy smokes, the big one. Let me, let me capture this one and take a picture with those couple. I think a, a big one. Huh? Huh? Four pounder. Yeah, I'm gonna let you get it. Go ahead, I'm gonna let you go ahead and. Oh my gosh. Ryan's got a big one on. We just doubled up. Holy smokes. It don't stop. That's cool. Them some guys do not. He's three. Ooh, he's a nice one. He's pretty. Long. Double up on a three and a quarter. And about a, three huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a pretty one. There's literally one on it. Right on us right now. Underneath the boat. Multiples. Uh oh. Big and right next to the boat. Literally in no water. Oh my gosh, literally no water. Like dropped it in like six foot of water. Oh my gosh, it's like taking so much drag. Uh it's a pretty good one. Not a giant one, but a Oh my gosh! There's another one right below the boat. I'll have to fish it out. Oh my gosh, buddy, he's right there. Another freaking good one. Literally dropped on him in eight foot of water, dude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Probably get another three. A three and some change. He's skinnier than the last one. Oh, he's fat though. Oh, I mean, he's just thing. He does. He's just. He's long. Yeah. He's long. He should be like a dang. That should be a three and three quarter. He should be a three and three quarter. Oh my goodness. 326. Really? Yeah. So that really should have been a 34. Oh heck yeah it should have been. Gosh. Dude, that's freaking good one. Hmm. We're on them now. Come on that one go. See you later, buddy. So you caught them grouped up here? Really? I'm not. I can't catch them grouped up. It's weird. I'm catching them up here. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. Right. That better than everywhere else. Golly! Dude, unbelievable. That sloth literally just jumped in the boat. Gosh, you're about to break all your rods, too. <laughs> <laughs> that can happen on Derby, <laughs> they just jump in the boat. That's a good one. Now, that's like a three and three quarter, isn't it? Yeah. I know. I thought it was a big one. Look at that. That's a whoop. Dude, these are starting to look more like St. Lawrence fish every year. Every year. Way that sucker. Why well, I throw my Carolina rig out there and catch another one? Fish at all. The big one's right out. That's what I thought on my man. Yeah. Pagan dude. Three? Yeah. Three pounder. I'm back shallow. Got us one. Probably three, probably close to three and a quarter. Yeah, I'm gonna say. I agree. You concur? Yep. Look at that. You flip this one up. Agreed. Caught a couple jerking, caught a couple on our dang sea rig, caught a couple flipping, 320. Nice. Yeah, good fish, good large one. Hell yeah, man. So you went doink. I mean, hanging out somewhere in it. 
Yeah, like maybe maybe there's more though. God, that one stroked, dude. Big one. Big one. That's a better one right there. You got one? Yeah. Not a big one. Yours is a good one. I was about to say, mine's a freaking good one. It is a lot. I know. Dude, we found them. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you're right. 341. Come on, buddy. That, I mean, that's some of a gun Dude, doink. That is long fish. I took it in 20, 20 inch fish. At least. Try to start zigzagging a little bit. Yeah. Found a new school, buddy. Yep. And actually, a pretty decent one. You might even catch a big one. Dude. Dude, that's a bass, big one. Pike. What's that like? That's a bass. Hey, you know what? Yeah, please, mean. All right, everybody, we are calling it a night. It was awesome, it was fun. Caught a few nice ones on a jig, caught a few on a Carolina rig, a few on a jerk bait. Smallmouth, largemouth mix again, so that was really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My buddy Ryan and I might even make a few more casts. Uh, we'll see what happens, but regardless, really appreciate the support. And man, I really appreciate you, Ryan, for letting me it's hang out with time. you the last couple days. It's been a lot of fun. I have to have a 20 hour drive, 20 hour drive back home. Um, so we're gonna start that here this evening. It's sad, it's a sad day to leave Lake Champlain because it's truly one of my favorites. But to be continued, appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much for following me through the channel. Have a lot of fun and uh, keep it up. Catch some bass. Hopefully, you're learning a few things and have a fun. See ya.